Hi guys, this is Nick Barrow in Potbelly, Zurich, in Switzerland, with the owner of my good friend Darren Paris. Darren, how are you doing? Hi. We were wanting to let the guys know, as part of the upcoming launch, the soft trial we've been doing in Switzerland, and specifically Potbelly's, with players with a new sighting product we've been developing over the last couple of years. So for those of you who've travelled to Asia, you may notice that it's very popular to have glasses without the lenses. As you can see, you can put your finger through the lenses, and I'm, I'm sure you'll agree that as a fashion statement, it's really up there with the new age, the new modern era. Now, how does this relate to sighting? Well, we've been uh, working in Switzerland, as I said, for the last couple of years on how to place sighting aids on this type of frame. So how do these work and how do they help you sight the ball? Well, what we found, you can see with this pair that the two shafts uh, made of maple, we tried uh, titanium, uh, that's taking a little bit longer than we expected but is due later in the year. We attempted depleted uranium but they were front heavy and we found that they would tip off the ears like that. But how they work is, you can see this is not equilateral. They're not quite equal. Now why is that? We had a, an algorithm built using corporate big data providers that accommodates the strongest eye, the dominant eye, binocular vision, whether one's had astigmatism or even LASIK eye surgery. All these factors are taken into account before the algorithm places the sighting sticks on the frame in the exact same configuration that would be optimum for you as a player. Now how does it work in practicality? Darren's been trialling this with his players here in his club in Zurich. How it works is lining up the cue ball centrally. If you want to line up to the object, all beginners need to lift the head up a little bit like so to capture the object ball in the crosshairs. So as you can see, cue ball, object ball, cue ball, object ball. As you can see, the success rate of potting is miraculous. And what did you find, Dan, when you were using it first of all on your own? Well, it was a bit strange, but uh, it slowly built up your confidence. Yeah, so when you talk about confidence, you've had, what, 40 at maximum, something like that? So how did it benefit you around the balls, perhaps? I tell you, what I noticed in, in the long shots, I thought the long potting was a lot stronger. Yeah. So yeah, we, we were saying that you've had 48 maximums. How did it benefit you perhaps in the balls or long putting, I think you said? I think you long, long putting, it helped you see the angle a lot better and the, yeah. and the distance was, was also easier to judge. Yeah, I mean, that's what we found in our trials here with your club players. All of a sudden they're lamping in long balls all day long. Yeah. Yeah, and what was their reaction when, when they've been trialling this, knocking in long balls from distance, even on the ball cushion? It's helping them align the shot perfectly using all their aiming characteristics. What's been their reaction? <coughs> Can we buy them? <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's not it's, yet, not until the launch. It's, it's more the fact that the, why is someone looking like this before? Yeah, it's more that somebody hasn't come up with Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's more like. Uh, why has this not been developed before? Yeah, because it's a big improvement. I mean, what I found is that in another sphere completely, at one point I was practicing with them and actually went out for a sandwich, didn't realize I'd been wearing them. <laughs> I remember you telling me that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> didn't realize I'd been wearing them, and it's such a conversation starter. So, for example, I found people coming up to me asking what the sighting sticks are, and for extroverts, it just works, it, it sits alongside your personality and brings your ex, extrovert traits out. For introverts, it would help you to become more extroverted. 
So it works for both personality types. Now, in terms of your competitions, I know you have a club team who is travelling uh, in the uh, Inter-Swiss uh, League. As I understand it, they won that tournament convincingly. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think they won, there was one final. And I understand there was also a, uh, a rules challenge on the, on the wearing of glasses, yeah, which was yeah. actually... Uh, assistive glasses, assistive aiming glasses. What's been the outcome? Well, I just mentioned it. Yeah. And I think, yeah, cite him as a precedent, a historic precedent. Exactly. Yeah. So the idea is when these get launched, if your club or competing teams or other federations uh, challenge your use, we've been citing uh, Dennis Taylor as a historic precedent to uh, allow the usage of assistive citing techniques in play. And don't so, forget that we've also put lenses in. So yes. Yeah. With, with, uh, eyesight difficulties then. Yes. So if if you also need lenses, these are perfectly shaped to accept the, to, to act as snooper spectacles as well. So they've got that triple usage. Now the launch is coming in a couple of weeks. Your your contacts have been helping us with manufacturing. How close are they to uh, the first production? Yeah, I think run? I think you're looking at a couple of weeks. We have it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's all, all up and running. Right? Yeah, so there we are, sighting sticks fusing Asian fashion with Western science. I'd like to say thank you very much to Darren Paris for doing a soft trial here in Switzerland, and I hope we can uh, see these on television sometime soon. Yeah, me too. I'm... Thank you. Great work. Thank you.